Hi, this is James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we are going to show you how to change your light switch. So if you've got uh, maybe one of these older style uh, flip switches and you want to switch it to a newer style switch, uh, this flat switch is what you call a Decora uh, light switch. We're going to show you how to do this. So this is just a basic economy uh, Decora light switch. And you can switch these out really easily. A lot of people like to do this to do an update to their home. And uh, what you can also do, though, is you could go ahead and put a smart switch in that allows you to connect uh, your lighting to Wi-Fi. So I highly recommend going the route of a smart switch. But let's say you don't want to do that. You just want to update your existing light switches from one of these older light switches to a newer style light switch. Obviously, the first thing that you're going to need to do is turn off the power at the circuit breaker. Um, so that's relatively easy to do. And you can test to make sure the power is off by turning on and off the light switch. If the light no longer goes on, you know you've got the right circuit breaker. So we've got the power off and we are ready to go. You can see the light switch is off. And you just remove this uh, cover plate here. And... Uh, since the power is off, you don't have to worry about the wiring or any hazards associated with it being live. So we're just going to pull this off uh, very easily here. Take the two screws, and now we've got our light switch exposed, and we can take this out. So just two more screws here. We can remove those, and we can then get the new light switch inserted. I would say this takes... Uh, Probably about five minutes, 10 minutes uh, to install one of these light switches. Maybe less than that. It just depends on how many you have, how quick you are, how proficient you are with electrical wiring. But it is a relatively simple DIY process as long as you kind of understand a few of the basics. And those basics are make sure you turn off the power. That's number one. Number two is just keep the wiring the same. So if you're unsure about the wiring, it's a good time to take a picture of what your existing wiring is, and then uh, it will help you make sure that you get the wiring the right way when you put the new switch on. So we've got these two screws removed. You can then pull the light switch forward and out. So that's what we've done. And then I'm gonna just rotate it to show you the wiring so you can see what's going on here and how it is wired up. This is what you call a standard single pole light switch, which means that basically all it's got is these two terminals here. And this single pole light switch basically interrupts the connection of the electrical circuit on and off. When it's on, the connection between these two terminals is made. When it's off, it separates the connection between these two terminals and the light is off. So all we've got to do to install the new light switch is remove these two screws. And what you've got here for the wires, I'll just go through this so you know some of the terminology. The bare unshielded wire, which means it has no insulation on it, that is what's called your ground wire. Over here what we've got is the hot wire coming in with the electricity. That hot wire goes through the switch and then what we have going out, this wire right here, that is what's called the load wire, which goes up to the light or the ceiling fixture or other item we are controlling. And the last one is this neutral, which is the white wire down here, which we do not need for this particular installation because this is a single pull switch. So it does not require a neutral wire you're not gonna have anything wired up to that neutral wire as far as the switch goes. So we're gonna remove our two terminals, our two wires from the terminals, excuse me, and we are gonna pull these out, okay? So there we go, and it's a good idea to remember which wire is which, it will help you. It doesn't matter for a single pull switch, it will work no matter which way you've got it wired with these two wires. If you reverse them, not a big deal. However, it's best if you remember which one is which so that you get the correct orientation on the switch. Otherwise, what you could have is that on is off or off is on. With the 
flat switches, it's not as noticeable, but you want to be consistent. So remember which terminal is where, and then be consistent if you've got multiple switches in a switch box for this Decora switch, the flat switch. They call those Decora light switches. So we've got these two terminals off. Now what we're going to do is remove the ground wire. So we just go over here to the ground terminal. It's that little green screw. We loosen it and we are going to remove it. Oh, so you can see it's actually like twisted in there. Not a big deal. We just need to get our pliers out and we can either cut this wire since it's pretty long or we can just bend it so that it'll go back through the hole, which is what I'm gonna do. I just bent it a little bit, which gives me access to pull this wire back out the hole. Just wiggle it back and forth a little bit. Sometimes it's really in there. Maybe straighten the wire out a little bit more so we can pull it through. There we go, we've got it out. So that's all you need to do. And it's a good idea to try and straighten this out a little bit. It'll make it a little bit easier when dealing with the connection on the new switch. So straighten out this last segment kind of helps you there. So now all we've got to do is uh, reconnect this. You've got your two terminals here. Uh, you can see they've got a little logo or writing down here. So that's the bottom. This is the top, and uh, this would be off, on, and you also have a ground wire there, the ground terminal. So we're just going to put the ground wire back in there, um, just like so, stick it into the hole now that it's straightened out, and all you have to do for this then is kind of bend, do a motion to bend it down and around, okay, and give you a top view of that shot. See how we did that? And now it is on there. And you can also just kind of pull it tight by, you know, pulling on that wire a little bit. It'll get it nice and tight in there with the ground screw. You can trim it off if you need to, need to. but uh, we've got it in there nice and tight. Probably won't take much to tighten this down. We'll give it a couple turns and it is in there. It's not going anywhere once you've got it connected onto the actual switch. So we've got our ground wire, our ground screw connected, our ground terminal. Now, we are ready to wire up these other two terminals. Since we got a lot of uh, wire for that ground, I'm just shoving it back in there, folding the wire, not a big deal. Now with these, you do have um, a couple options. You could wire it in. These holes, this is a switch I reused, so it's got some wire in there. We can maybe pull that out, uh, but I am just reusing this switch for demonstration purposes. But you can see we had an existing wire that was in there. All right, so we've got those existing wires stuck in here. You, most of you won't have to deal with this, but uh, if you do, uh, sometimes you can pull it out, but sometimes it's also under tension. And all you need to do then is there's a little slot down below here or up above. You press in, tilt the switch, and you may need to press in and then pull out. And you can get that wire out. So that's what we did. We got the wire out. And now we are ready to then connect our existing wiring to the new switch. So we're going to take our hot wire. We're going to make sure we have the switch oriented correctly. So top and bottom. Uh, you can see the writing down here. So that's the bottom of the switch, and we're just going to attach the hot wire up here. It's kind of already got a curl around it, so we should be good there. And just reattach it to the bottom of the switch here. And just tighten this and turn it down. So we've got that terminal nice and snug there. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And we could have twisted this a little bit tighter, but... Uh, you know, we've got a nice secure hold on there, so that should be good. So we have the uh, bottom wire here. Uh, we've got the hot coming in. We've got that wired up. And we do have the load wire left. So we're going to wire that in here. Just kind of, if you can, uh, get that wire to 
slide in there, maybe rotate it a little bit or rotate the switch and you're gonna be able to get that in there. So we got both terminals tightened down and we are going to keep going with this. But we've got one thing going on here that I wanna show you that can happen. So this is actually our ground wire, so it's not a really big deal because it is ground wire, but sometimes you get these cheap electrical connectors. You can see this one here. And if you see this on a live wire, a hot wire or a neutral wire, you're gonna to wanna to change that out. What's happening is the wires uh, have broken through the top of the plastic there. And what that can do is cause a short. So even though this is a ground wire and it doesn't really matter in this scenario because these are all exposed, uh, we are just gonna put a new connector on there for good practice and to demonstrate to you kind of what's going on there. So uh, always take a look at that with your electric connectors. If you see that, you can see how it was, let's see if it'll focus there. It was kind of blistering on the top there. And what happens is if it breaks through and another live wire uh, connects to this, you can have a short circuit. So you don't want that. You can see it kind of from the side there, uh, what that blister looks like. So you don't want that. Uh, we're just, we replaced it here, no big deal. Uh, just keep that in mind for your projects. Now what we've got to do is uh, just put the switch back in so sometimes it helps to, you can kind of fold these wires a little bit, get them started with a little bit of a bend. That does sometimes help. And you're just going to align these screws here with the holes on the junction box. So here we go. We're going to set that in there. And then uh, screw it back in so that we are all set with this. So for this, you could use a... Uh, Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver. That is my dog in the background. I don't know if you can hear him. Sometimes he likes to make an appearance on these videos. We'll see what he wants. But uh, we're almost done here. And all you have to do is get these screws back in. Sorry about that. Uh, you really can't see anything when my hand is in the way. And screw this down tight. There is a little bit of sideways adjustment with these. So when you're getting to the last few turns, um, it's good to kind of make sure that you've got this switch aligned with the other switches or your wall switches so that everything is going to look good. Sometimes you've got to fold the wires down behind this a little bit more to make everything fit in nice. If you've got multiple uh, switches in one junction box, uh, it might take a little bit more finagling to get this thing in, but we've got it moderately straight here. Um, doesn't really matter because we've only got the one switch, so not a big deal. But if you have multiple switches, pay a little bit more consideration to that and get it where it needs to be. Then all we do is put the cover plate on. Obviously, you need to have a different cover plate for a Decora switch, which is what this is. Decora style is what they call this. And then just tighten these down, and we are ready to go here in a moment. So we tighten the cover plate down. We've got the nice new installation. Some people like to align their screws so they're both horizontal or vertic vertical or whatever it is. As long as they're tight, the cover plate's tight, doesn't really matter. So uh, I'm going to get this back on at the circuit breaker. We'll move this down here so you can see it. And we are gonna turn this on. Okay, the light switch is off, but we've got the power on. Boom, there you go. So that is how you change a light switch, all right? So we changed it from the old style light switch to the new style light switch. So here's the old switch. We went ahead and we changed out this old on off switch for a new on off switch. And you could also do this with dimmer switches. Uh, they're, most of them are gonna work the same way. And you can do it with smart switches as well. So we've got other videos on how to install a smart switch or how to change out an old light switch for a smart switch as well. But uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this channel, this video. Please subscribe, it does help support us. You can click on any of the links below if you wanna learn more about smart homes 
or you want to support us. Thank you very much.